Welcome back to Aggie Sports Overtime. I'm now joined, as I was a month ago, by Brazos Valley Bombers head coach Kurt Dixon. Coach, thanks for coming in and joining us. I appreciate you having me. Now, as I did mention, about a month ago we talked. You were just getting ready to start the season. You're about a week in. Now that you've finished through this first half, is it what you've expected? You're 24-8 and eight now. Is, is it what you expected from your team, or have there been any surprises? You know, as a coach going through the recruiting process in the offseason, you always envision being in, in the first half, being in first place, winning it. Um, but, you know, it really has. I mean, the guys have been good. You know, one, I, we've had 38 guys so far, and one through 38's came in and done their jobs. And uh, clicking on all cylinders. And one thing I've noticed is my third year in the league, what we were able to accomplish last year going through the first half, I mean, we're getting everybody's best game. And to follow up off what we did last year, to be 24-8, and eight, to win the first half, couldn't be more pleased. You know, and you mentioned that you get everybody's best shot. With this team, is it the type of thing that they came into it saying, we want to follow up what we did last year? Or is it, it's a brand new team, we have some, some turnover from last year's guys, we brought in the same players, but we're a new team. We're going to, to have our own goals this year and not try and maybe duplicate what you did last year. Yeah, you know, from day one when this team met together, that's, we talked about this, this is a new year, um, but this is a year following up, uh, you know, the 2013 team that everybody uh, that looked us up, they everybody knew coming into it, all the new guys, what last year's team accomplished. Uh, but having a good nucleus of last year's team to set the, set the tone, leadership-wise, what to expect playing six days a week. Um, and they're just playing Bombers baseball. We ask them of them, you know, play hard every night, compete. Uh, and care about each other and uh, chemistry wise is just it's been probably as good as I've had it. And now when you look at the standings in the TCL, Victoria has kind of been right behind you guys give or take about a game or two for most of this last month. Do you think that maybe helps the team that they don't have to look at trying to match last year's record and they're just competing against another team instead? Yeah, I mean you look at what Jonathan Burns has done over there in his first year in Victoria. I mean they're they're very talented. They've got a good team. They pitch it. They they play defense really well, and I think they're the best outside of us, best hitting team in the league. Um, so yeah, they've been right on our right on our um, our shoelaces the whole the whole first half, and they still continue to be there. I think we're three and three against them. So yeah, it's been good. But I think the whole league in general, uh, everybody is better. Uh, for the most part this year. Now the best players in the league will be showcased on Tuesday night at the All-Star Game, something you guys will actually host at Selyukor Field. What does it mean to be able to actually host this All-Star Game? Oh, it's, it's exciting. And you know, just talking to some of the other teams, we're teamed up with the Pump Jackson Marshals, and I've talked to some of their guys, getting everything together, letting them know when to be there, and they're excited. They, they like coming to play in our environment, our atmosphere at Selyukor Field. But now, like they've joked with me, we, we get a, you know, the hometown will be rooting for us, you know, instead of against us. So they're excited. And for our guys, you know, it, it will feel like a three day break um, instead of having, you know, today, Monday off, uh, you know, Tuesday, the All Star game. Um, being able to be here, be in our own beds, uh, working out at Gold's Gym. So it will be great to be able to have a three-day break here in Bryan College Station. Now we talked about it a month ago. You do play those 60 games, 72 days. What is that grind like once you get to that all-star break? Have you seen maybe the players, if, I don't want to say hit the wall, but you, they need to get those days off now maybe more. It is. And, and explaining to them um, before we broke for the break was, you know, guys, enjoy it, go see family, but recharge the batteries, take care of yourself, don't, you know, because these three days, you know, we need them, you know. We've got a couple more arms coming in, uh, to a little bit more depth to the pitching staff, we'll lose an arm. Uh, but yeah, no, you can see it. I mean, it's, these kids aren't used to playing six days a week, and uh, these three days uh, were really needed. Now, you mentioned the kids playing six days a week. Logan Naughtybrook, G.R. Hinesley, two players you thought were really going to be that core as at three, four hitters, Logan comes first game. First game with the Bombers, he hits two home runs. He's you know, leading the league in home runs. Has that combo been what you expected, or maybe even better? You know, you know, you always put ex high expectations on your guys, but they've met it and exceeded it. You know, I, I knew what I was getting in Gr. I mean, he's just um, just an all-around great player. I mean, he's a proven summer player too. Because that's always you always see good players and you recruit good players, but are they a good summer player? Can their body hold up six days a week? Well, do they get it? Do they buy in? And uh, Logan's just like GR. I mean, it's been good, and it's helped GR too because for early on in the season, we had GR a little earlier with Logan's injury. You know, you could look at other teams, and it's don't let GR beat you. And now it's you've got to pitch to GR because Logan's protecting him. And speaking of GR, the other night he was playing second base. He plays first base. <laughs> what is his versatility? It means that you go to games and he puts down a bunt maybe in the first inning, but he's also the the league leader in RBI from a year ago. What's his versatility meant for the other players on the team? 
Oh, it's it's you know GR you know versatility, but it's it's his mindset. Whatever you got to do to win, coach. And we were in a bind a little bit the other night. We had a wedding uh, orientation, and then we also had a guy uh, step away for a funeral. So we were in a bind up the middle, and uh, we're looking at our different options. And G GR you know wanted to play second, and we looked at it in batting practice, and it looked okay, and he did a good job. So, but it's just it's just the type of guy he is. You know, whatever we got to do uh, for the team to win. Now those are far from the only two good players. You have 11 All-Stars from this team now playing at home. A lot of them also from the rotation. How important has that pitching staff been when you do mention you play in a wood bat league, but you play in a league where you need so many arms and, and you need guys that are healthy and ready to step in? Oh, it's been huge. You know, I think the, the first half, uh, you know, for, for sure the first 11 games, you looked at we were 8-3, and three, got off to a good start, uh, got, stayed in, got first place to be able to stay in first place. We were eight and three with a 182 batting average, and we were really pitching, playing defense, um, and it was you know it was kind of wild card on paper with these arms. We didn't have as many proven arms uh, compared to years past, uh, but these kids did have the potential, and they've came in, answered the call, and couldn't be more pleased the way the pitching staff. Uh, has pitched in the first half. Now once the All-Star game concludes, you look toward that second half and trying to repeat again as champions or at least win a championship in the TCL, maybe not a national championship. What do you tell your players as far as what to expect? Maybe the guys that weren't on last year's team, this is their first time in the TCL. What do you tell them to expect down the road here? Well, you know, you told them after the first half is over that it, you know, it's testament of their hard work and everything they've put in that we've won, we're in the playoffs, but We've still got to bring Bombers baseball every night. We got to, um, you know, maintain six days a week, and we want to stay towards the top. But knowing that we are in the playoffs, that we can gear up and be and be having the team in place to be ready to go in August uh, is huge. And the hard work that they've put in uh, to allow us to get to that. Well, Coach, thank you for joining us. We'll now go back to Chris Costa in the studio.